talk about the Crime Doctor's Strangest Case from 1943. And now this is the, um, the radio program from the 40s of the first Crime Doctor video I talked about. This is a sequel. Um, it was actually pretty good, but I mean, it could have been longer. It was only 107 minutes. An hour and seven minutes, I'm sorry. And I mean, it was suspenseful. It was really good, but, um, uh, I, I wanted to see Dr. Carey, the man who helped him in the first film. And, um, Ordway's client, Jimmy, his wife was kind of flat. I mean, it just was... She was, like, kind of there and had one thing to do, and she dropped this evidence that was glass. And she's like, I dropped it. I like that his Dr. Ordway's secretary has more to do. And um, there was a dream sequence. Somebody recounting a dream sequence, and that was a really good scene of what the dream was. It was really cool how they did that. I wanted to see more of Fenton's daughter and her whole thing about trying to figure out how what happened to her dad. And I mean, how did I know he sh they shut down the the nightclub? But how did his how did Fenton's body not smell? It was behind the, the desk or something the entire time. And I mean, what is it about abandoned buildings? And having things strewn on the floor and nobody's been there in years. And, um, this is actually kind of sad. Um, so, Fenton, the, Gloria Dinkinson, who played Fenton's daughter, is married to this guy who smokes, but he, um, he's careless with matches and he throws them away. And starts fires and trash cans. <laughs> But she actually, a couple years later after this film, died in a house fire, most likely connected to a cigarette. But so overall, I mean, it was a pretty good 